Hi, this is Judith Sherman again. There's one more subject I'd like to talk to you about today. This subject is, uh, uh, let, me, let me back up. I've been taking the Dale Carnegie course. One of the exercises that we had to do was uh, go through the first nine subjects of how to be a good person, how to be friendly. I decided to take one. We were challenged to take one of those nine things and work on it during the week and then report back in two weeks. So I chose number nine, which is uh, uh, making, uh, taking an interest in people and, and then helping that person have value, feel like they have value. And I chose to work on our relationship with my husband. He had been really cranky. <laughs> um, he blew up over something just, I mean, totally a total meltdown over something really minor. And I, I was in shock. <laughs> and uh, he's such a sweetheart. It just was such a, a weird thing to see him just come unglued. I just couldn't uh, figure out what was wrong with him. So I just, uh, when I realized that any comments that I would say uh, wasn't going to get me anywhere, it just, he was just it, upset. <laughs> I just shut up <laughs> and waited, you know, acted like nothing was going around on and just waited till he finished his little explosion. And I, it, when I had the class, I realized that maybe I wasn't treating him right. Uh, maybe. Uh, let me rephrase that. I had not been treating him right. I uh, didn't make him feel important. He made comments all the time. Judy's going to do what Judy wants to do. Doesn't matter what I have to say. She doesn't care. Well, that said a lot. I, I am a very independent-minded person, in case, you hadn't tell, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> and I make decisions easily for myself. But I had forgotten that there's two of us. And I was not taking his, his uh, feelings about things into consideration. And so I decided that I needed to spend more time in making him feel valued, making him feel important. And you know what? It wasn't that hard. All I did was go back to doing stuff I used to do. I didn't realize I had gotten so far off the path. And so uh, instead of staying up and working on the computer all night, and st instead of uh, working on videos, <laughs> instead of doing all the things that I had been doing and totally ignoring him, I decided to s just put the things down, go to bed with him, you know, talk, just have good time with each other, you know, watch watch movies, uh, rub his back, <laughs> yes, he likes his back rubbed, <laughs> and just things to help him relax and, and to go to sleep. And and then I would talk to him during the day when he came home. I made sure, he, one of the things he wanted was to see a clean house. Huh, gee, I wonder why he wants that. <laughs> a clean house? <laughs> yeah, you're right. A uh, clean house was not on my priority list. <laughs> So I decided that I need to quit getting into so much trouble. I need to start doing some things that he wanted. And so clean house was on my list, fixing a regular dinner instead of going out and buying something for dinner. Those were two things that were important to him. So I asked him, I said, am I out of trouble yet? <laughs> uh, he goes, well, I don't know. <laughs> I said, uh, well, you tell me if, if I'm still in trouble or not because I'm trying to stay out of trouble. And uh, I think he got mad because I left the garage door open, even though he does it all the time. You know, little things like that. So I tried to work on the things that were bothering him. And I tried to pay close attention to things that he was saying. Well, let me tell you, in two weeks' time, that man turned into an absolute teddy bear. I could not believe the difference. I have forgotten. I, I, I can't believe that I got so far off the track. I talk to people all the time about paying attention to your spouse and treating your spouse right and somehow I didn't apply those things to myself. So my advice to you is pay attention to those that you're having a problem with. Let them feel valued. Let them feel like they are important to you. Tell them they are important to you. Tell them that you care about what they're thinking and feeling. Tell them that you're trying to do a better job of paying attention to them and trying to make them a happier person. And when you do that, 
I'd like to hear your comments back on your experiences because I'm telling you I was amazed at the difference. An absolute sweet cuddly teddy bear is what I got by doing that. It was amazing. So I'd like to hear your comments. Be sure and send me your experiences. I'd love to hear them. And for now, I'm going to say goodbye.